The deal is that the person you met or the person you're about to marry did not fall from heaven as I say and has a 100% probability of making a mistake. Now, when we put some guardrails around forgiveness, the one I would say has to be there is there is a big difference between forgiveness and abuse. And so my point to this is, is that when we are forgiving one another, we oftentimes say, they don't deserve it. Who does? In fact, I know somebody else who don't deserve forgiveness. But God, in his kindness, forgave us. In fact, I know some of y'all are fighting this thought process because I need to put a couple of more conditions around this, but it's not conditional forgiveness. I want to share something with those who have gone through a tough spot in their marriage. I want to say this as honestly and earnestly as I can. Do not forgive and then hold the person you forgave a prisoner to what you forgave them for. Essentially what I'm saying, if I did some wrong seven years ago and we came to terms that we want to get it right and I said forgive me and you said forgive you and we did, do not spend the next seven years reminding me about the mistake we made in seven years. See, that's, that's called enslavement. And can I give you another word? That's abuse. Well, you keep reminding me, I, I forgave you, but I remember like it was yesterday. You didn't forgive. You was happy to be with me because you was too ashamed to be away from me. See, we got to make a decision, young adults and adults in this house, because we ain't playing this forgiveness that's been taught one dimensionally. When you forgive, it is essential for you to start moving towards the future of restoration.